Okay, sorry about that, because I just accidentally deleted the video I just recorded. So pretty much this video is about my thoughts on the Fantastic Four reboot. Now, pretty much, I'm all here for it, and to be honest, I can't wait to see it, because uh, while I did see the first two Fantastic Four live-action films, and I actually had the video game as well, I am looking forward to see what this is. I am looking forward to seeing what this remake has to offer. And to be honest, what I was not here for was the uh, the amount of racism and racist comments that Michael B. Jordan had got because he was casted as Human Torch. What a lot of you idiots out there may not know is that he is that before Human Torch was a human in the comic books, he Human Torch was a robot. So, you know, y'all getting all mad and all this other stuff, it's really like no one cares. Like, this is the same type of BS that, this is the same type of BS that Marvel got when they announced the African-American Captain America, the African-American Spider-Man. Look, if y'all don't want to read these, uh, read these comic books to all you racist assholes out there, guess what? You don't have to. You guys acting like somebody has a gun to y'all head and is forcing y'all to read this stuff and go out and buy it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Plain and simple. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, the uh, Fantastic Four reboot. I'm all here for it, and I cannot wait for it. And uh, that's, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, yeah, uh, I mean, as we all do know, Marvel Comics is actually can is actually ca canceling the Fantastic Four comic book continuity early next year, I believe. They made the announcement this past weekend at NYC Comic Con. So they're canceling it, and, you know, we all know that they are serious about getting their rights back uh, from Marvel, and they're getting, the Marvel is getting their rights back from themselves. Anyway, they're, they're serious about getting their rights back of uh, Fantastic Four and X-Men from Fox, and I hope that they do someday, but we, but we may see. If this, if this reboot doesn't do so well, they probably will end up getting the rights back, so... We'll see. It, we'll see. Only time will tell. So that's about it, really. Those are pretty much my thoughts about the Fantastic Four reboot. I'm actually here for it. And to be honest, if you don't want to go see it, guess what? You don't have to. So for all y'all guys out there, all you people out there in general, men and women, who will talk crap about a movie like a whole bunch of y'all did, and I was guilty as charged when I talked crap about the X-Men Days of Future Past, but yet y'all still went to go see it and y'all still had the same y'all still had negative things to say afterwards like if you didn't want to go see the movie guess what you don't have to you don't always have to be caught in the hype and caught in the conversation of what everybody else is talking about it's okay to be different and be out of the loop for a change I'm just calling it what it is it's okay but um yeah you know what so yeah that's pretty much it my thoughts on the Fantastic Four reboots and yeah, now y'all get to see me comb my hair, ha ha ha. But anyway, yes, those are my thoughts for the Fantastic Four reboot, and I cannot wait to see it. And yeah, so I hope you guys, you know, if you guys want to talk about it, let's talk. If you are here for it, you know, kudos to you. If you're not, no one cares. Yet again, just letting you know, no one cares. So, good night, you guys. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you had a safe weekend. And let's, you know, start off this week right and bright. And, yeah. Also, fuck Columbus Day, by the way. Just wanted to let you know. Alright, see you guys. Bye. <clears throat>